right, we got some sunshine out here and warm weather and we get that. It makes me ambitious to fix things that are broken still on the Envoy. I saw some of my videos. Picked this thing up uh, for about $1,500 and it's immaculate on the inside. Got about, I believe, 300,000 miles on it. We're still having some issues with it, but I got a lot of the issues taken care of in other uh, videos. But the issue we're trying to figure out right now is we have a very low idle problem here when it warms up. The idle will drop down to 400 to 500 RPM and almost stall. And because of that, we got this code here. <laughs> yeah, 506 idle air control system RPM. Lower than expected. I've had this problem on other trailblazers and so forth. Although this is a GMC Envoy 2006. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, I don't remember what I did. I thought originally it was a computer problem. But the more I've tinkered with it, checked the wires on the outside, make sure everything's getting uh, current. And all that uh, we're good there and also this other code here which we're not going to really talk about right now it's a heater control circuit i don't know what's going on i'm getting current out there i don't know if it's a computer problem or what but that's the only other code i have right now but i want to take care of this idle air problem and i've checked the idle air out there i've checked all the wires everything seems to be good and right now i got to switch out of it i thought maybe there was a problem with that and maybe the uh the current wasn't uh they changed out the switch in this this switch is different from the ignition from the door i'm not sure what they did before i bought it it was sitting for quite some time they took off the uh, converters on it and then they just uh kind of you know <laughs> hacked it and made it run and sold it and sent it down the road and i ended up with it so uh yeah it's real nice on the inside this is why i'm pulling my hair out but i think it'll work out but this is why that covers off i thought maybe i wasn't getting a I thought maybe it was a current issue but everything here seems to be getting current so i don't think it's a switch issue that is for the heater control circuit, but we're not going to worry about that. If I get that fixed, I will make another video on that later and tell you what I did to fix it. But for now, we're going to check out this idle air controls, you know, problem we're having. Uh, it's idling really low. It'll start right up. It's not a problem. So what I think what I need to do is probably just come out here and take all this air cleaner stuff off. And it's going to be right here, this whole unit. And this also is your uh, throttle uh, by wire or whatever system here so we want to take this off i've never had this off i don't know what's in there maybe it'll take care of the issue maybe it won't i got some of the stuff kind of loosened up here to save some time a couple of rags and i'm probably going to have to get my throttle body cleaner but um we're going to check a few things here and see if it'll idle a little bit better but if it we can get it well what we'll do we'll clean it we'll clear the codes and see if it makes a difference I mean, I could start it back up here, and it'll pro I don't want to get the engine too warm, but let's see how it does right now if I start it. Oh, that idle, that's, that should be higher than that. Well, a little higher anyway. Wait, pop it down in here. Well, like I said, it's cold, but when it warms up here, it just drops way down low, and... Uh, that's the code there. So I don't want to heat it up. Like I said, I want to work out there while it's nice and cool. So we'll go ahead and clean this up and we'll eventually clear this code. So uh, let's go ahead and finish up out here. Maybe we'll do this in one continuous run here with the battery. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to change out the battery and the camera. So we got, uh, we got to take this off here. We got to take this off. We got a couple of bolts out here that we took. I took off our razor sitting up here. We just basically got to get this out of the way. We can leave this, unhook this, leave this piece on, just kind of push this out of the way. Well, I've actually had this off before when I was fixing the exhaust, but I never really paid much attention to what was going on in there. Oh, because I didn't think it was going to be a problem then. All right, let's get this the rest of the way off here. And there we go. And oh, wow. No wonder it's not running right. Look at the crap in there. Holy cow. They told me at the place I bought this, they had they, they were running without an air cleaner, and I never thought to check all that. So they put another air cleaner on it, and they sold it to me without cleaning that up. Uh, I've got some oil in there, too. It's not smoking or anything. It runs great. Why is there oil in there? Oh, wow. That's yeah, not going to be any fun to take clean. So that's what we're going to have to do. Let me zoom in there a little bit for you guys and see how bad that is. Can I open that up? Stick it. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. So let's clean this out. This is not good. 
So, I'm going to get my cleaner and we'll start cleaning up here. Hey, you got to check these things sometimes. You just never know, I guess. Yee, oh, this is going to be... I like to let that soak. I want to... What I do, I'll spray some in here like this. And I'll put a rag there and let it soak a little bit. Let that break those, those chemicals down in there and clean, we'll clean that out one way or the other. All right, we're starting to make a little bit of difference here after about five or ten minutes. I don't want to open that up and push that stuff down in there, so we'll just keep... Ugh. Lord, a lot of carbon in there. I'm going to have to check my Subaru. It's idling a little weird, too. Let me spray a bunch of that in there, put the rag back in. Let's let that soak a couple more minutes. All right, after about ten minutes, I got it pretty clean here. That looks a lot better already. If I look behind here, <laughs> that's another whole ball game. Look how black it is down there. Oh, God. Feels like coal, oil. I don't know. I've had other vehicles do this, but I've never had a trailblazer. Well, the trailblazer is the first one I've ever actually had. But check engine, check engine light on for a low idle. Usually other vehicles don't do that that I've had. But So we're going to have to... That there and get this back in here. I got another screwdriver here. I can shove that back in there. Go around. That's what you gotta do. Sometimes save yourself some money and time. Much black. Oh boy, look at the black. <laughs> that is black. Oh gee, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all that out of there. Look at that. I think you can see this. It's like heavy deposits up in there. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we'll just keep spraying and cleaning until we can do it. I'll probably end up using up all this can. That is bad, bad, bad. There's a air hose vacuum tube that comes up right here. I want to check this right here and make sure that it's not plugged up or anything while we're here. If I can get it off without breaking it. Okay, we'll just shoot some fly. We'll shoot some air in it. Alright, well that seems to be open. That's good. Well, at least something's going our way. So. That's right there where that tube is. I gotta make sure I get all that cleaned out of there. Oh. Yeah, alright, well. We'll just clean away here and do what we can. Alright, so after about 20 minutes... <laughs> My fingers are tired now. I got a light here. I want to shine in there. I think we've got it a lot better than it was. I don't know if I can get a screwdriver in there. Oh yeah, it's a lot better. At least I got it up here, and I think a lot of the issue you gotta make sure you gotta get it up here on the top because this tube goes in here. If that's plugged up, it'll cause you issues, but I don't know if you can see it or not, but it does look a lot better. So sorry about the motorcycle next door, but all right, so we'll clean up a little bit more. We'll put all this back together and we'll start it up and clear that code. And hopefully that will take care of it. I don't know. I've had, you know, and there's been a couple times this thing's almost stalled out. But not, it has never stalled, but it's been really close. It, it's idled like down to 400 RPM and so forth. But I will agree, I'm the, I also neglect, you know, getting out here and cleaning these soil bodies. A lot, I think a lot of people do. They just don't think about it. But a little bit of disruption in airflow, you know, will cause issues. And, with sensors and other things so and that works freely which is good so i don't know so I actually i'm gonna squirt i got a little bit left in my can i'm gonna squirt a little bit more and just squirt the rest of it in there and clean it out hey let me know where you're watching from right now all right guys so i'm about ready to put this back together i did my last little bit of cleaning here but one thing i wanted to just kind of remind you of when you're cleaning this out make sure you get on the back side of this butterfly because you will have carbon build up and also where this butterfly kind of goes down and hits this throttle body here make sure you get all that cleaned up because just a little bit sitting there will keep this thing from closing all the way it'll cause you problems you'll have a little bit of air leakage there so i think i've got it all cleaned up <laughs> all right so that was about a half hour job all right let's put her together and see what happens all right it's all back together as a side note before i was uh, even thinking about cleaning that i did clean off the uh couple sensors here with some cleaner didn't have any issues didn't change anything but now it's all back together and so loaded up with cleaner it might have a hard time starting but see what happens here 
make sure you get all your hoses out there nice and tight and all that good stuff because you don't want no air leaks now if i can find the key like i said i got a different key one for the door one for the ignition i originally thought maybe this is the wrong key and when you start it something happened down with the switch and it wasn't making some connections or something i don't know but that was mainly for the uh other code there for the heater circuit so put in here without knocking off the code reader i'm gonna start her up so what happens no oh, she's loaded up big time <laughs> there she goes oh wow it's idling at uh 1200 i've never seen it idle that high before that's cool. All right, she's nice and smooth. Oh, she's idling up her pretty high now. So, all right, so we'll clear the codes. I'm not jumping for joy just yet, and uh, we'll see what happens here. And uh, hopefully, it'll take care of the issue. I don't know. I'll say 50-50, but something tells me it might work because I didn't have any codes for an actual part being bad. It just said, hey, buddy. Your car is idling too low. Check it out. Clean me or something. I don't know. Sorry. So we're, cl we're we're cleared here on the code reader. Yes. And we'll shut it off. Well, that's still at 900. So usually by now it'd be down to 500. I don't know. Maybe we fixed it. We'll see. All right. Start up again. We got our code reader cleared. Well, it does idle better but i'm not you know, like so jumping for joy yet well it's uh early afternoon we'll come back here later this evening i'm gonna play around with it after about 20 minutes that light will come back on i'll know if there's gonna be a problem but the other code for the uh, heater circuit i know will come back on pretty quick usually when, when it's cold so we're okay read codes pending codes see that one always comes back because it's kind of cold right now but we don't have the idle low circuit. I don't know, it's looking promising. So, all right, we'll come back here a little bit later, later seating and see what we get as it's getting kind of late in the day. We'll give you an update. By then, I'll know if that took care of it. All right, everyone, it's late evening. You can see the sun's kind of going down and I've been playing with this for several hours and now it's uh, cooled off. And uh, if I had to have betted on this, I would have lost a bet because it actually worked. We'll start it up here. It's kind of cooled off quite a bit. I've been gone for about an hour. But when I start it up now, I notice that idle comes right up like it should now. And it um, doesn't idle anything below 600 RPM when it's warm. Now well, the sun's probably blocking your view a little bit there, but we're about uh, 1100 RPM right there. And uh, throttle, res throttle response is great. So, you know, sometimes you just got to clean out your throttle body to make the vehicle run better. So we'll let it run for a few minutes, but uh, give you an idea just how good it sounds back here. The exhaust doesn't miss a nice sounding exhaust so it worked out fairly well so you know if you're having this code like i had try cleaning out that throttle body what a difference it made wow as you can see we're up to operating temperature and we're up to 189 degrees almost 190 and uh that is because i have a new uh thermostat and I have a video of that on my channel for the Envoy. A little bit, about the same as the Trailblazer, but, uh, and look at the idle. Right about 600 RPM. That's where it should be. I'll drop it down in gear. It doesn't go any lower than that. It goes exactly where it should be. So that took care of the issue, guys. So if you have this problem, hopefully this video will help you out. And let's check the codes here real quick. I'll show you that we don't have that code anymore. We just have that heater circuit code, which I have 
no idea what's going on. I've checked the wires, I've checked everything. I gotta do a little more deeper diving, and you see that's the only code we got right there. And we'll go back to stored codes. That's the only code. So it's late in the day, and I've started this thing up probably seven times and uh, let it run for 25 30 minutes at a time. And that RPM is just uh, loving it right where it should be. So let me shut it off. And when I first start it up, watch how high it starts out and it slowly jumps, slowly drops down where it should be around 600 RPM or so. See it's up around 1,000. There's eight, nine, there's about eight. And you can see it's slowly dropping down just like it should as it warms up a little bit more. I think we're probably about up to about 200 degrees now, maybe. But yeah, look at that. And I drop it down in gear. And you can see the RPM stays right where it should be. So, yep, I'm happy. Let's do one more quick thing. We're going to hook up to the other scan code here, reader, and see if we find anything hidden. This thing here will find it, if there's anything hidden. And we're right at about 600 RPM, sounding good. And the only code we've got is the heater circuit, so that's it. Yay, we fixed it. I'm happy. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so that's about it for the video, guys. You would think something simple like this, just cleaning out your throttle body would make your vehicle run much better, but hey, I'm living proof. I'm sure there's some other videos on YouTube that will say the same thing. So until my next video, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.